Hey, what's good, everybody? It's Kuntash here, and I'm back for another episode of FL Studio 101. Today's episode is going to be very short, very quick. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to change the tempo of your sample without changing the pitch of it. So um, usually when you drag a sample into FL and uh, it's a different tempo than what the actual song is and you want to get it on time, like the pitch is going to change. It just does that. That's how, uh, that's how that works. But there is a way to where you can still have that original pitch just at the uh, tempo you want it at. So I'm going to show you guys the sample over here. All right, I'm going to drag it over into the sequencer. Now you hear what pitch is at right now, and I'm going to stretch it to, I guess, to um to the eight measures. Yeah, stretch eight measures. Because I slowed it down, uh, it detuned the pitch. So what you're going to do is, um, if that screen doesn't come up for you, you're going to double click your sample. And then you're going to come over to mode, and then you're going to click auto. The only thing with that is, though, um, it can definitely degrade the quality of the actual waveform if you do it that way, because it, um, it's like literally stretching the sound. You can hear it stretched out at the uh, original pitch. But if it's at a different pitch, it sounds better quality wise. But that's really all there is to it. Um, I don't use Slicex. Uh, if you want to achieve the same thing in slice as what I would do is I would just bring it over in, stretch it, get it to the original pitch you wanted at, and then render it as a wave file and then put it in the slice X and you can chop it up however you want to. Um, that's what I actually used to do when I did use slice X or if I have to use slice X, that's what I do. But that's really all there is to it for this episode. If there's anything else you guys want to know, want to learn, please let me know. Thanks for